a Mazda Miata. Now these cars have a very mixed reputation. On one hand, they're the ultimate girl car, because they're, they're tiny, they're cute, what girl wouldn't want one? On the other hand, they're, an old, they're a grandma's car, because old women want their little sports car, they can afford it. And then, on a really rather odd hand, They're an incredibly popular car with young guys for a couple of reasons. One, because they're so small and light, they don't need very much power. Uh, they often came stock with limited slip differential. It really is like an ultimate little handling car. It's great for tight cornering. Uh, if you've ever watched Hagger Garage, you know they're great for drifting. It's a convertible. Who doesn't want a convertible? If you're smart about it, you can easily get one for like three to five grand. If you're dumb, you'll get it for a lot more than that because because they're so popular, they're really overpriced. But it's got pop-up headlights and they're manual pop-up headlights, so you can pop the lights without turning them on, which is the biggest disappointment with the uh, American pop-up headlights. You can't do that. I like his seat covers. They make it look like they're aftermarket seats. Find it hilarious. It says 220. If I'm not mistaken, they can do about 180. That friggin' uh, DVD player on the dash is probably <laughs> worth more than the car. I like the rims. I don't know. I'm a little iffy about the uh, mud flaps. Maybe if he had them on the front, too. Although. don't really like the uh, little itty bitty spoiler but it matches with all the black touches the black mirrors black top the lip and the flares on the back I don't know I'm not gonna lie I have a, a love-hate relationship with these cars because one they're way too small for me like literally I don't actually fit in them uh, they're a bit too girly for me, and they're way too underpowered. I think this model has like 120 horsepower, uh, maybe 150, but uh, that's it's just not enough. But at the same time, I'd really love to have a Roadster. I'd really love to have a convertible. They're a simple car. They're an affordable car. They're a cool little car you can do a lot to them. Like, the number of builds on YouTube of masses is insane. And it's funny, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this car, I know the owner. And, uh, funnily enough, he has the exact same last name as me. And his, uh, first name's actually not that far off either. But, uh, a lot of little fucking dings. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but they're, like, outward dents in the paint. Which means there's rust underneath, if I'm not mistaken. It's a nifty little car. Like, it looked, like, I don't know, if it squared up a bit and was about twice the size with a V8 in it, it'd be a completely irresistible car.